Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to explain Firefox bookmarks to you guys out there. So what a bookmark is, is where you take a web page and you save it to a list where you can later access them. Uh, as you can see by this first run page, if you do create a Firefox account, you can have your bookmarks sync between your devices, so whenever you install a new version of Windows or you uh, install Firefox on one of your mobile devices, you can synchronize your bookmarks between those devices, which is really cool. Uh, Google Chrome also has similar tools. So in order to take a page and make it a bookmark, like this uh, Firefox Start page or maybe Google.com, we simply click on the star over here on the right. Alternatively, you can hit Control D as a keyboard shortcut. And you can see here it'll um, allow us to set a name for the page, which you can usually leave default, and you can set the folder for those bookmarks. Now there's going to be three different folders here for you to put them in by default, the bookmarks toolbar, the bookmarks menu, and other bookmarks. So the bookmarks toolbar is a little bar that you can have appear below the URL search bar, and it can contain folders, it can contain basically a horizontal list of different bookmarks that are available to you. The bookmarks menu is right up here on the right, which is kind of like a top-down list. You click here and then it will drop down with different bookmarks that are available. You can see that um, in the bookmarks uh, menu, there's also the bookmarks toolbar bookmarks. You can also see other bookmarks listed here. And then the other bookmarks is just a, a third folder. Um, you can see it goes in here under other bookmarks, but you can also create your own folders. So. You click here on the drop down, you can hit new folder, or I believe even without that, you can hit choose and create your own custom folder. So here, by uh, having this folder section expanded, I'll go ahead and create a new folder here. So folders are really useful for organizing not only files on your computer, but also bookmark links uh, on your web browser. So it follows the same kind of similar principle where it's just a tool for organizing things. You can really think of it as a, uh, a folder in real life that might go into your filing cabinet. Same kind of principle, just digital space here. So we're gonna, get, we're gonna give it a name and uh, for this name I'm gonna call it uh, Chris's test folder. Now um, by the looks of it, it's uh, basically a subfolder of other bookmarks right now, but we can drag this and move it over to, let's say the bookmarks toolbar instead. You can also put it in bookmarks menu. You can see the bookmarks menu already has a Mozilla Firefox uh, set of default bookmarks. And you can um, nest these, organize them as you want. So if I say test folder two, we should be able to put this inside of uh, the Chris test folder. So now it's bookmarks toolbar which contains Chris test folder, and the test folder contains test folder too. So you can see how it kind of organizes a lot like your computer with the C drive. Um, and so what would we'll, we'll be done for that right now here with this edit of our first bookmark. Um, now you can see that the bookmark toolbar automatically popped up as we added in a folder there. Um, it's actually possible to enable and disable the bookmarks toolbar. So if we have this bookmark section over here, we can right click it at any time and check bookmarks toolbar in order to enable and disable that. So on the bookmarks toolbar, you can see a couple of default uh, bookmarks that are available to us, including most visited, which is uh, basically a list of the websites which we have visited the most using this particular web browser under our user account if we have one. Uh, the getting started page which contains some information about Firefox, uh, the web browser that is. Um, and then we also have this custom test folder which we created and if we go down into test folder 2 we can see the hierarchy Chris test folder contains test folder 2 and then Google we can uh, basically quickly access uh, those web pages which we uh, previously visited but wanted to save. And you can also see whenever we visit those web pages that there will be a star over here indicating that this page has been bookmarked on our computer. So if I ever wanted to remove that bookmark, I could click over here and hit remove bookmark as long as I'm on that page. Uh, alternatively, and I'll put this back in text folder too, we can simply navigate into Chris test folder, test folder two, right click the 
uh, the bookmark and hit delete. We can also delete folders. And um, in addition to that, there's actually one more tool inside of the bookmark system, and that's a separator. So if I add a new separator in here, well, it's supposed to be like a horizontal line, but let's actually put a couple things in there so so that we can actually tell what's going on. So let me um, let me add this other bookmark in. So now we have two bookmarks, and I want a new separator. So I'm going to right-click here, and this should add a separator right above it, apparently. Okay, I thought it was below, but it's above. And if you look really, really closely, uh, you can see these horizontal gray lines. And that's a separator, which we can also right-click and delete. And I think there was one up here, so right-click and delete that as well. And I think that's just about it for what there is to Firefox bookmarks. Um, if you ever do create a Firefox account in order to manage your bookmarks, you're going to want to make sure that on each of your web browsers, you click over here on the settings menu, you click sign in to sync. And then once you're signed in, there will be a button that looks just like this. You can click that at any time to sync your uh, bookmarks between your devices. But that's pretty much it. It's a really useful tool for remembering web pages that are important to you or that you want to revisit. So I highly recommend you try the bookmark system out, regardless of if you're using Firefox or another one of the major web browsers out there. Um, in fact, I will be covering the bookmark system on other web browsers like Chrome and Edge in the next couple of days. So if that interests you, uh, go ahead and check out my other videos. But aside from that, I've been Chris. Thank you for watching this video on bookmarks and Firefox. And I will see you guys in my future video content.